review and demo on the CoverGirl Clean Whipped Cream Foundation in 305. Okay, it says on their website, our new lightweight whipped cream foundation gives your skin a boost of moisture without the greasy, shiny finish. Let's hope. You'll love the dreamy, 100% breathable formula that leaves your skin looking smooth, natural, and matte. Available in 10 shades to match your skin tone. I am in Ivory 305. That's what this is. It has steps on their website. So step one, using a disposable sponge wedge or a clean or clean fingertips, dab a small amount of foundation on the center of your cheeks. Step two, blend outwards toward the edges of your face, concentrating on uneven areas and decreasing intensity towards your hairline. Step three, Gently sweep clean pressed powder on your T-zone for flawless finish. So they're suggesting that you powder. So it can't be that matte. Um, you can purchase CoverGirl basically anywhere. Any drugstore, any like big department store. I'm pretty sure you can get CoverGirl. Any like grocery st store, like you can get CoverGirl anywhere. There are 10 shades in this line, from ivory to tawny, whatever that means, 365 tawny. I guess they could go with something like caramel, <laughs> normal word for darker skin. Anyway, I obviously have my hair pinned back, but I'm going to tie it back, and I will be applying this foundation with my fingers, like it suggests, and we will go from there. The only thing that's on my face is moisturizer, so let's get started. doesn't really have a smell. It's almost a light floral smell, but it's very thick. If this falls on me, that'll be a horrible thing, but it is super, super thick, as you can see. It is a whipped cream, and let's just start. It is thick. Oh my god, it is like, I feel like I'm, I don't know, it feels like I'm putting icing on my face. Is that weird? I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Alright. It feels soft. Very, very soft. rubbing it in so that it doesn't look uneven. It is a really good match. So that's nice. Again, so soft. It, it does feel amazing. I'm just going to take a peek and see how well. Okay, so anyway, it is a very light coverage and I can still see red spots on my face, so, um, it feels so soft, um, so it is very lightweight, you don't really feel like you have anything on, definitely, because it's so light, it is breathable, like I said, um, color match is really, really good, but, I do have dry spots around my mouth and right here. Straight for somebody who has like a oily T-zone, but right here is dry and right here is dry right at my crow's feet area, where I would have crow's feet. Um, is dry and it is kind of clinging to those spots, but I did not put primer on, so, you know. But um, I am just going to apply one more layer to this half of my face and just see how Buildable it really is. Okay, so I have a second layer on this side, and it is buildable. Um, 
still feels really silky and really soft. Uh, the redness is gone, so two layers seems to be enough to cover the redness, but you can still see my freckles through the foundation and stuff, so it's not full coverage, but it, it's nice. I like it. Um, I'm going to put another layer on this side so I don't look so uneven, and then I am going to let it sit for a while and see how well it works, but first impressions, I am... I am liking it. Okay, so now that I have two layers on both, um, it still feels amazing on the skin. It's very soft, um, good color match, and I think the only con I have for this product so far as first impression is the container. You have to like stick your finger into the stuff and put it on your face, which is really unsanitary. So it would be nice to keep different packaging, but it is quite cute. Um, I do like that they sprung for glass and <laughs> not plastic, so that's nice. Um, so I'm going to come back in a little while and tell you how it is working with my skin. Okay, so I have finished my face, and the only thing that's on top of the foundation is a blush and a bronzer. So I bronzed up a little bit. But other than that, it's holding up nicely. It's not any oil. I'm not powdering. Yes, so we will come back in a couple hours and see how this does. Hey guys, so welcome back. Um, This is a update on the foundation. It has been on for a couple hours and it is holding up quite well. Um, I am getting a little bit shiny in my T-zone, um, but I'm going to leave it be. Nothing I can't handle. And I will come back in a couple more hours and let you know how it's holding up. Um, but let's just look at where usually it starts to dissolve and deteriorate. Around the nose, around the nose it is holding up well. Around the mouth it is also holding up fairly well. It is starting to crease a little bit at the nose, but nothing big, nothing that you can really notice, easily fixed, and yeah, so I'll be back in a couple hours. Okay, so this has been on for, foundation has been on for about six and a half hours, and I did powder once, um, I wasn't going to come back on, but I thought I would, it has disappeared from around my nose, um, but really none of the redness has come through. Um, it's holding, it's, um, it's holding up really well. It's still super soft, and yeah, I don't think it's bad at all. I love it.